time of year uh, to get out. If you're in the market for a new home or a piece of property, even a rental, mm -hmm. get out and look at them because I know you guys cover all of that as far as real estate goes. Absolutely. We do cover all of that and we highly recommend drive-bys. A lot of this area the house you want depends a lot on the location. So why mm -hmm. not go ahead, go out, drive by, make sure it's a neighborhood you like, close to the school you want, that kind of stuff. That knocks out half the houses you may want to see just doing drive bys. That way when they call you, you can just take them, open the door and show them the inside and you're halfway there. Absolutely. Okay. They're ready to buy right after that. <laughs> now today we're going to talk about listings like we always do, but at the end of the show we've got a couple auctions to tell you about that are coming up. So if you've ever been curious, about how real estate auctions work, or you, you may think, hey, this may be something I'm interested in, stay tuned. After we talk about these first listings, that's what we'll bring. Mm -hmm. Now the first one, we're going to be in the Paintsville area today. Now this one is actually on Lincoln Avenue. It is, and if you're familiar with Paintsville, everybody kind of knows where the city park is. Mm -hmm. So you've got the baseball field, the tennis courts, and the city pool. This sits very close to that, kind of up behind the city park on Lincoln. Right. Now this is, is across the river from downtown. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are thinking downtown, where is that? It's out on what we call 321, the old road going through. Very convenient location. And the great thing about this one, you can kind of tell it from the main picture that's scrolling right now. Mm -hmm. You've got almost an acre lot. It's about three quarters of an acre and you've got privacy. So you have that convenience of being downtown, but you do have a fairly convenient location. And this must be one of those homes that, I guess you're looking uphill at it, so you really can't tell how large it is from that view. Because, I mean, you're looking at four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, over 2,300 square feet. Yes, a large house. So this is one if you have a family, if you have a growing family, if you plan on growing a family, mm -hmm. this is a house that you could really kind of grow into. You are convenient to shopping, to food, to everything that Paintsville has to offer, but you've got that feel of of being outside the city limits and being in the country. Exactly. And one thing that they really focused on with this listing is that it has a nice large lot and a really nice patio that takes advantage of that outdoor space and that privacy. You know, and, and as you started this listing talking about, it's near the park, mm -hmm. it is near the swimming pool, everything that would be very attractive to a family uh, during those warm months of the year. Absolutely. This is one, if you've got really active kids or if you yourself are active, this is going to be a great location just because all that's going to be at your fingertips. All right. Now, this one is handled out of the Paintsville office, but it's not your listing. This one is Charlie Krieger's. It is. Charlie, again, is out of the Paintsville office. Mm -hmm. That number is 606-789-8119. All right. And the price on this one, very attractive, 169000 mm -hmm. So under 200000 for everything you're getting. It's definitely worth looking at. Absolutely. All right. Now, the next one, we talk about Cross Creek a lot. This one is another Cross Creek listing. It's on Easy Street. That is correct. And if you're familiar with Cross Creek, mm -hmm. you're going uh, towards Paintsville Lake. You're going to take that left into Cross Creek. This is actually in Cross Creek 2. So you go all the way through the first one to the back into the second section, which is across the river. It offers the same thing that we talked about with the last listing. Mm -hmm. You're very convenient to everything, but you've got the feel of a neighborhood with privacy. It's one of those where your kids can go ride their bike down the street. You don't really have to worry. Mm -hmm. it, it adds that, plus you're super close to the lake, super close to school, shopping, all of that kind of stuff. So it's really is a convenient location. And then getting back to the house itself, this house is almost 5,000 square feet. Wow. So it is a massive house, five bedrooms, three and a half baths, sits on a really nice size lot in Cross Creek, 0.75 of an acre. And that is, you know, if, if you're looking at homes in neighborhoods, that's a huge lot. Mm -hmm. So you've got a lot of yard space. Um, that goes along with this one. And it looks like it's landscaped well, too. Absolutely. The outside is, is very attractive. The inside offers hardwood flooring. A lot of the upgrades, it's got the open layout that's really popular mm -hmm. now with the island, family room, um, and then, like I said before, the five bedrooms. So a lot of space to grow. Right. And it looks like the ceilings are tall. Mm -hmm. So it's a very roomy house. Well, 5,000 5, square feet, you're thinking roomy anyway, but each room is going to feel even larger with those tall ceilings. This is also Charlie Krieger's listing. Uh, this one is 449 but for everything you're getting in this neighborhood, if this is the price range that you're looking for, definitely give this one a look because you're getting a whole lot for that amount of money. Absolutely. 
All right, let's get the website. We talked about that first mm -hmm. uh, off the bat, if somebody wants to look at this home or anything else you have listed. Absolutely. The website is rbnw.com. And that's R-B and spelled out W. Yes, correct. Okay. Now, staying in Paintsville, we're going to switch to a different realtor. Uh, now, this one is on College Street. It is. This one is on College Street, like you said. If you're familiar with downtown, you're mm -hmm. going to go past the elementary, high school, and you're going to take that right. College Street is the main road that goes through Paintsville, and this is going to be kind of on that 5th Street end of College Street. Right. And this is one that's an older house built in 1950, but you can see from the pictures just full of charm, and it's got a lot of updates in it. Nice size house. It's over 2,000 square feet, which is a great size for an older home. And these, I love the, the architecture of the homes back in this area because you can tell um, they're older homes, but they have so much character to them, I guess. You look at this one, it almost looks like a big gingerbread house. Absolutely, it does look like that. And you can see from the inside, like I said, with those updates, you've got some hardwood flooring, you've got that really mm -hmm. pretty fireplace that adds the charm in the living room. And this one offers three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. Uh, and the, the feel of this neighborhood is just really good. Absolutely, and this really does feel like a neighborhood community. It's not a downtown community where you've got businesses mixed in. This is a mostly residential area, mm -hmm. so it really is a more neighborhood feeling area. So yeah, walk to downtown, Paintsville, mm -hmm. you've got you know the arts, you've got the antiques, you've got so many things in downtown Paintsville that are attractive right now. If you're in the market for, for this type home in this price range, uh, definitely give Dawn Kenner a call. This one's only listed at 132000 so hopefully it won't stay on the market long. Hopefully not, and you can get her at 606-789-8119. All right. Now moving um, to the next one, now this is Jeremy Duncan, another different realtor. So we're, we're actually talking about all kinds of different realtors today. We Not are. only are we showcasing homes, we're showcasing what uh, realtors are having to offer. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, this one is Jeremy Duncan and he again is out of the Paintsville office. All right. Now this listing is on Buffalo Creek and it's outside the city a little bit, but not far. Not far if you're familiar with where the golf course sits on Route 40. You're going to mm -hmm. keep going on, you're going to pass the Thelma turn and you're going to go towards Mealy and the turn for Buffalo Creek is a right turn right off of Route 40. Right, and you're looking at this one. Now it is a double wide, but it is sitting on two acres of property. So you're looking at it and you're looking across all that property. And this time of year, you're thinking gardening, you're thinking get outside, put the pool in. A ton of opportunities are, are right here in this yard. Absolutely. And this is, it's a 1979 double wide. It does sit on a permanent block foundation, which is a great for a loan or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And then like you said, it has a lot of space inside and out. You've got the two acres, but then on the inside, you've got almost 2,000 square feet of living space, which wow. is huge. Three bedrooms, two full baths, and two half baths. So this is one that really, like I said on the other one, you have a lot of elbow room inside and outside. It comes with a beautiful garden, of course, depending mm -hmm. on when you buy it as to whether or not the garden is active or not. And then uh, fruit bearing trees, so you can, you know, apple trees and that kind of stuff. You sit on your porch and eat your own apple from your yard. So What's what, better what than you're that? saying <laughs> is this time of year you can buy this home and you're getting your home and your groceries at the same time. There you go. Do This one offers the privacy. It offers the land. It offers plenty of room to run and play, but you're very close to everything that you could need. Right. And the price on this one is also as attractive as the property, <laughs> $129.9. So under $130,000 uh, for this listing. And as we said at the beginning of it, this is Jeremy Duncan. Uh, so let's give his email address if somebody okay. wanted to email him about this property. Okay. His email is jduncan at rbnw.com. Now what we talked about at the beginning of the show is after we did our listings, we mm -hmm. were going to talk about a couple upcoming auctions. And you have those, um, one in Johnson County and one in Pikeville. Let's talk about the first one coming up on July 15th. The first one, like you said, July 15th is 5 Peach Street at Thelma. So rarely do we give specific addresses on a lot of our listings and stuff mm -hmm. for the show, but of course for the auction, we want you to come to that property on July 15th. So we're going to make sure and give you that specific address. If you want specific directions, feel free to call any of our offices for those. The way that our auctions work mm -hmm. is 
on July 15th, we will have the houses open at 10 a.m. So you can come at 10 a.m., walk through the house, view everything that you would want to, ask any questions. If we have the answers to them, we'll share those. And then at 11 o'clock exactly, the auction will start. And that is something a lot of people you know, would like to see just because of how it works. And, and a lot of people don't realize the auctions are on that property. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you happen to be the highest bidder on those, I mean, you're right there. It's like, here's my new house. We require at least 10% down the day of the auction if mm -hmm. your bid is the high bid. Um, if not, you do have 45 days to actually close it out. So if you needed to do a loan or something like that, that option is out there. Um, they're both reserve auctions, which okay. means there is a minimum bid that we can accept on behalf of the seller. We can't tell people what that bid is, of course, right. but it does have to be met in order for the property to be sold. So you need to know when you come to these auctions, what's the maximum amount of, of money that you have that you can spend to know when to stop bidding. Exactly. Exactly. You got to do your homework a little bit. <laughs> right. But if you know, yeah, I have, I'm in this market and you know, I'm looking for a home, sometimes these auctions you can get a home way below market value. Absolutely. And we recommend if you want to do an auction, do an auction when you need to sell a piece of property. You know, wanting to put your house up and you might move or something like that, that's not really the, the market for an auction in right. this area. But if it's a house that you need to sell, an auction definitely can be a good option. All right, now that was the auction on July 15th in Thelma. Mm -hmm. You've got another one coming up in Pikeville on July 29th. Now this one's on Chloe Road. It is 988 Chloe Road. If right as you're going up the hill at Chloe, this pretty much sits on the right as you're going up the hill. The biggest issue we're going to have with this one is parking, to okay. be perfectly honest. So what we're telling people, if you have a serious interest, mm -hmm. if you do want to get in this house ahead of time and look through it, we'll be more than happy to meet people out there to actually walk through it ahead of time. And that way, when the auction actually comes on July 29th, hopefully our serious people are, will come and we're not short on any parking space. Right, and the same time frame on this one, it's an 11 o'clock auction, mm -hmm. and I'm sure they're going to start right on the nose. So yes, absolutely. So make sure that you're there in time to get set up. Is there registration? How does that work? You do. You have to register for the auction. We have to make sure that we have you on the approved list and mm -hmm. that kind of stuff, so you do want to make sure and get there early enough that you can get registered. All right, so we've got some wheels turning today, whether it's, uh, you know, the auction or whether it's some of these listings. Now, we were mostly in Johnson County today, um, but if, if you've got something in any of these other counties, we gave the website earlier, but let's give it again because okay. they can access anything you have. Um, and then you could sell them that or anything else that's for sale in the region. Absolutely. The website is rbnw.com, again, and is spelled out. All right. Thank you so much for uh, sitting with us and, and showing some more listings, but you're not finished. I'm going to step out now and let you do your real estate minute. Sounds good. Real estate in Eastern Kentucky is constantly changing, as in any market. Certain areas in Eastern Kentucky have seen a large reduction in activity, while others are remaining very active and even growing. Ray Brown and Williams recommends that you contact a qualified and licensed realtor to get information on your particular market and for your specific property. When listing or buying a property, it is important to work with an agent that understands the market and that can assist you, the client, to understand the market as well. The agents of Red Brown & Williams would be honored to assist you with buying or selling property in Eastern Kentucky. Please call one of our four local offices for information today. Thank you for joining us.